Jasper. Who's this? He kind of goes up and sniffs her, and then he just walks away. <laughs> He kind of just mostly ignored her for the first little bit. He ignored her, but she was obsessed with him. <laughs> we got Jasper for almost four years now. We brought Jasper home. He was the cutest little puppy ever. He was just this little ball of energy and he was always very mischievous and just up to no good right from the beginning. He just did all sorts of funny little things when he was little. As he grew up, he was just always loved people too. Let's go to the car. Anytime anybody came over, he'd attack them with shoes and bringing them items. If they sit down on the couch, he'll just crawl all over you and steal your ponytail scrunchie. I was going for your scrunchie. No! <laughs> He's just such a goofball. He was the ring bearer at our wedding. He was super excited to see all the people there. Uh, best friend was walking down the aisle and he was just like dragging, trying to say hi to like every person who was there. I was in school, we still always just felt bad the little time he was home alone. We ended up deciding for him a dog to hang out with. We brought Louise home, she would constantly try to play with him and go up next to him with her ball and cuddle him. Louise is really yappy bark ever since she was a puppy. And she'll yap in this high pitched bark just at Jasper and his face to play. He's the most patient big brother ever. Louise is like this little menace. Now they've been with each other for seven months. We've watched Jasper grow closer to her and he'll initiate playtime with her wrestle for like an hour and it looks like two lions like playing with each other They're such goofy dogs who are so lovable and they bring us happiness and joy as well